That's not what I meant to say. Hey there, chickadee. How you doing today? Thanks so much for joining us. We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we're so glad that you joined us today. And if you're new, welcome. We're so happy to have you here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave because we hope you like what you see and that you want to stick around and see more. Absolutely. We know that as we age, our skin care needs change, our hair needs change, lots of things change. But did you ever think about your makeup needs changing as you age and as you gain weight? Yes, that happens. I, believe it or not, was once a young, thin thing myself about a hundred years and a hundred pounds ago. I was in Miss Portsmouth and preliminaries to Miss Virginia and Miss America and now I'm just misguided, mistreated and misunderstood. Not only can our skin change in its needs, but our skin can change as we gain weight too. And our makeup needs can change as we gain weight. And I am gonna show you a little trick that I learned about hiding and camouflaging the double chin. We're gonna double cross the double chin at spit, and that starts right now. I never had a problem with a double chin. And then as I've gained weight, my menopause hit, lasted damn communist hormones and menopause. As I've been going through menopause for the last umpteen years, I've gotten a double chin from the weight that I've gained. Now I actually figured this trick out from something that a makeup artist used to do with me when I did national television work with Fox News Channel in New York. And I was thinner then, but she always said everybody cast a shadow on television from their chin. So in between commercials, it was always so cool when we were doing a show because she, you know, the makeup artist would come up and do exactly what Cindy's doing right now. So I took the, <laughs> the tips that the makeup artist at Fox taught me and developed a technique to hide and camouflage this double chin. Now I want you to take a look. You have your chin here that's dark and then you have the little chubby skin down here that's dark from the shadow. Now look in between. There's this white, white face. Stuff. And that's what's really showing and making that double chin really prominent. So I took the trick that the makeup artist in New York at Fox taught me and I kind of accommodated it to meet the double chin need. And here's what I came up with. You're just going to take a, a brush like this, a blush brush or an angled contour brush. You don't want it too fluffy, but you don't want it too stiff. So a good blush brush is good. And I take any contour. This is my Profusion contour palette. You can, see, you can see this is well loved. I tend to use these two shades here. I'll usually mix them. One is cooler, one is warm. I just kind of mix them together. And we're gonna go in and where you see that white space, we're gonna fill that in. Watch what's happening. See what's happening? It's disappeared. It disappeared. We're gonna fill that in now. Just kind of keep filling it in. It's going away. And then blend it down your neck. Cause you don't want a brown stripe down there. If you see any white spots, just fill them in. Wherever you see white and shadow, fill in that white in between the shadows and that is gonna make that double chin disappear. Oh my goodness. Can you see a difference? I see a difference. But see, now you've also thinned your face because you've made your chin more prominent and this area is more blended and it's all with the trick of a genius. brush. Genius, freaking genius. I mean, dang, that's genius. You can say freaking, freaking. Freaking genius. Freaking genius. So get yourself a freaking brush and some freaking bronzer or contour. I use a combination of both bronzer and contour. Just use whatever works with your skin tone. Hit that white space 
and you too can camouflage that double chin. So what do you think? Do you like it? Did it work? Is it something you'll try? If you do try it, please let us know. We love to hear your feedback and I love hiding my double chin. If you like tips and tricks to kind of help us hide and camouflage some of those issues, you don't have a double chin. You're very thin. I have loose skin. Well, next time we'll work on tricks and tips for that next time. But until next time, we want to thank you for joining us and we want to ask you something else as well. On your way down, if you would please click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And next to that button, you will find a bell that you can just activate. Ding! And it will notify you each time we have a new video uploaded. And we do try to do that at least once a week. And we add bonus videos in too, as well as giveaways, and you don't want to miss those. If you like tips and tricks to kind of hide those imperfections, give us a big old thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment below and share this video because, you know, a lot of us in the YouTube community, in the mature YouTube community, are banding together and we are saying we want to send a message to YouTube that those of us over 40 matter, that we count, that we have a voice in this community and we have a voice on YouTube. So hit that like button, share it and subscribe to send YouTube a message. <laughs> That yes, mature women on YouTube okay, matter. That, that was immature. But that's okay. That immature women on YouTube <laughs> matter. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we're two real chicks just keeping it real, baby. Until next time, we love you. Bye. Bye. Dang. Dang.